Hello everybody, my name is Linda Buchanan. Oh, I'm gonna say Linda. Let's switch the telly off. Right, I have just had an operation um, on my back uh, on the 24th of September this year. Um, it was a revision of L4, L5 uh, lumbar decompression surgery with fusion and a uh, cage and rods and screws. Sounds a bit like a mechanical set, but um, I feel I'm not too bad. Um, this is my third week today, so it's a good operation. First night was terrible, didn't sleep very much, was up to the toilet quite a lot. Um, mainly because I had um, a dry three litres of water. The reason I had three litres of water was because um, I just um, had a casual cooking. I had unfortunately a bit of a real sarcoma. That's gonna help me start feeling over and I'll do it and I'll feel strong enough to walk without him. Uh, today, before I went, I just got food. I need to go in and 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 I need to go in needles and the sensation of the nerves and the hand of the and the typical that was done and put on the hand of 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 the hand the hand of the hand of the hand changed my job and when I heard about having to go into surgery and I've been really, really quite upset at the fact I might have lost my job if I stay off too long but I don't want to I'm sure I'm sure they'll understand um, they've been quite understand it that now I didn't know if I would get started to sick pay because I'd only been two weeks start at this new job but I am getting started to sit pay, which is thank goodness for that. And well, about in the summertime, I thought I'd try to go for personal independence payment, but I thought I wouldn't have a ghost a chance to get it. Hearing a lot of people, sometimes worse off than myself, have not got, uh, well, the government said they weren't, eligible for support which is absolutely horrendous when I see people's plights that they've had to go and fill form and then wait till they get face to face assessment with two of them, and then they've got the centre and then <clears throat> they get asked to do a few things and then it was six weeks later they're told they're, they're not eligible for um, for payment which I think they really need to, the government really needs to have a look at their assessment programme and and really scrap it and really just um, change the set of questions because I don't think it really takes into consideration everybody's disabilities. When they look, I mean, you can look at me okay yeah nothing in the world wrong with you would never think i'd had a major back operation with spinal uh, 
spinal confusion <laughs> spinal fusion and cage but i have had that operation just by looking at someone you can't tell disability can can be can be hidden hidden in a lot of ways you could have a mental health problem you could just because you don't have a bandage hmm, my hand think everything was okay you wouldn't think i had carpal tunnel but i do i do have weakness in that hand and i can't carry things i can't carry things now anyway because of my <clears throat> back and i have to look after that um i have um where is it it was here somewhere excuse me to let go Oh, she. So, I have a helping hand somewhere, and it has to be anybody going in for this kind of surgery should um, prepare. Prepare is the big word. Prepare. Prepare yourself. Have everything not too high up to reach things that you use a lot in the kitchen and um, move them down so you can reach them without don't want to be stretching and uh, no bending no stretching and no lifting things off the floor use my helping hand for that getting into bed i have a bed uh, realm so i can pull myself up and, and hold on to it to get myself down into comfortable lying position. Sleeping, I get up a lot anyway because I've got one kidney and I tend to drink a lot during the night. So I'm, I don't really sleep that good. That probably makes up why I get so tired during the day. I really want to become better and I really do want to start working again because i miss out sometimes i miss the company i'm here and um, on my own apart from city hello city wait till you must see city he's absolutely gorgeous isn't you city city look where are you you're a beauty aren't you hello there hello there, there city what are you doing? I know people don't want to see your tail. Look at him. Where is he going? No, you're not going up there. What are you doing now? City. City. Look. You good boy. You good boy. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Well, I like your tail getting rubbed. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Yes, I like that. <laughs> Where is he? Where's City? Hello, City. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> enough of City. Doesn't want to look at the camera. Well, anyway, I'm trying as hard as I can to get myself back to work. Three weeks off, carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel operation next Friday, so I'll be off probably another six weeks. So we're talking about maybe the middle of December before I'm back at work, but maybe maybe some time before that. Oh, City's decided he does want to come and you do want to come and see me, don't you, City? Of course he does. Look at this handsome man. City, look, the camera. Look at you. Oh, aren't you gorgeous? Yes, you are, aren't you, City? Oh, look. Oh, sorry, everyone. Oh, it's my woman cover on my phone. Oh, look. Look at you. Are you, City? Aren't you gorgeous? Yes, you are. Yes, City, do you like that? 
You ain't been a star. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, mummy. That's good. Likes getting lots of pets. Don't you, city? Yes, you're so gorgeous. Aren't you so gorgeous? Yes. Just love that. It's attention. Yes. Where are you, city? Aren't you beautiful? Oh, yeah, I'm going to sleep now. I'm going to sleep now. Yes, I'm going to sleep now. Oh, my mummy. That's just lovely. Well, anyway, I'll tell you more about how I'm getting on. And City's decided to come and sit on my knee. And your City. Oi. Right. Love you, everybody. Hope everybody going for lumbar fusion and um, who suffer spinal stenosis, who I do, and spondylolisthesis, which is quite a mouthful, but that's what I've been suffering. Hopefully, don't have any nerve pain now going down both legs, which is a bonus. Hey, city. Yes. And I don't have that numbness in my bottom anymore and they want to hear all this uh, nonsense from me but fingers up and let's hope i feel a bit better next week everyone bye